Cheers. In that spirit, we bring you Mary Carrillo and Ted Robinson once again. Sorry, Mayor. <laughs> I got a good seat. And I will take credit, that's the first time I guarantee the Doobie Brothers and the U.S. Open have ever been in the same sentence. <laughs> and it may never happen again. <laughs> Then Djokovic and Goff played the opening night. Goff played much better today to take out Mira Andreeva in this first match. So these guys are out here pretty quickly. Goff broke the teenager four times, got in 81% of her first serves and hit 24 winners. Much more relaxed. Well, we'll see if Zapata Miraes can find some relaxation. Holding a serve here would be a start. A better start for against someone with very little hard court all year long without correct. Unexpected uh, cluster of errors by Djokovic. Hasn't gotten in a first serve yet. But I, I got to assume this court positioning from yeah. Merayas is going to hurt him. Being that far, that's a real clay court position, isn't it? And surely Djokovic will take advantage of that. Spread out the court. Get him pinned back even further. Boy, that's nice. He said he wasn't going to feel too nervous. I guess I got to start believing. Yeah, yes. Well, it's sensible. Again, you can't have a whole lot of expectation. It is interesting. You're the serve position back on the first, but he came in. Yeah, he did. On the second. I just mean I think he's going to get stuck playing rallies from that far back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a 
And interesting there. So on the do side, he stayed back on the second. 30, 40. Just a few days and nights of matches here. It's been interesting for me to watching the different players thoughts on where to be on the second serve return. I Sitsi Pass the other night was going back as far as he could yeah. on second serve returns. Right. To give himself time to yeah. give it a real ride, huh? Led for service. Still hasn't gotten in a first serve. Yes. No, well, on a second serve, he's managed to get to deuce. Advantage Djokovic. All right, he finished. Djokovic. Djokovic did with a couple of firsts in there. And one game all for sets. The uh, presence that champions create. Zapata Marais telling a story that the one major, the only major he ever played as a junior was here. Mm -hmm. And of course, you're in the kiddies locker room <laughs> when you play the juniors. He got to come into the adult locker room once. <laughs> and he saw Djokovic. That's his memory. 15 months. He got into the U.S. Open a couple of years ago as a lucky loser and beat Feliciano Lopez in five sets <laughs> before Felix Oje Aliassim got him in the second round. Oh, Mary, that, that's the point you're talking about. Look where... Yeah. Zappa de Marais played that point and the point that unfolded. Yep. And there's Team Djokovic. That's his wife in the middle, Goran Ivanisevic in the first row. We have the rest of Novak's ball club. He took time off, didn't he? Went on vacation with his family after that Wimbledon loss to Alcaraz. Remember, he'd won the first two majors of the season. Then got back Alcaraz to win Cincinnati just before this tournament. Oh. Remember in 2021, Djokovic was going for the calendar slam. I honestly, I was in Tokyo for the Summer Olympics that season and it was so, mm -hmm. so hot. So humid. It took, it took a lot out of Djokovic, who obviously wanted to win the Golden Slam, something Steffi Groff did back in 88. So he came into that men's final oh. against Daniel Medvedev. He, he was spent, wasn't he? Credit to Medvedev for winning his first major title against yes. Djokovic. Ted, but Djokovic was crying. You remember, he was he was like mm -hmm. crying into his towel on the last couple of changeovers, and then when he lost, this joint gave him a, a standing ovation because they knew whether he was their favorite or not. He knew they knew how much it meant to him to try to win this thing and get the calendar slam. where he is. Ah. 
the court, didn't he? Yes. That's some he, rally. He came from the Azores back into <laughs> the mainland. Yeah. That was a fabulous point. It sure was. Fancy. Now, you watch just in isolation that point, you would not say he's a clay court, would you? That's true. <laughs> Except that he looks sturdy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Deuce. Definitely taking his time. Hmm. The Spaniard is here before serving. That long point may have, have a little after effect. Position where you can just hit a clean winner. Did it? Oh. And that was an, an extremely attackable mm. shot from Djokovic, and Melias broke open the round. I'm just watching Mary Djokovic, we've seen so much on hardcore. We know he can incorporate the small slides. Mm -hmm. And I haven't noticed him sliding yet. Footwork looks. I, sliding on hard courts. I know. I, 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 think Chris, <laughs> uh, I think Kim Kleister's invented it. I'm giving <laughs> her a, credit. That's a good call. <laughs> Two time US Open champ. Spaniard mixing in a little Alcaraz here. Yes. Okay. Well, his first game was an easy hold. This one he had to work for, but hey, respectable start. Zapatamaray. You can see him looking up again, engaging the sky, has the hat. The sun is in the clouds right now, but you see the, the shadow that will be crossing ash when the sun comes back out. Say that Goran Ivanisevic, I'm not saying he looked concerned during Djokovic's first round match, but after playing two glistening sets, he got kind of awkward in the third, had ice packs all over his neck. I mean, it was after midnight. It's about one o'clock, you know, it was getting on. It wasn't that hot, but he looked like he was in some kind of distress in that third set. Of course, he won it, and he's back here now. Well, he 
It has really been, I think, the more recent overriding theme for Djokovic has been how he's looked. Yes, that's right. Go back to, of course, everybody I think, saw Cincinnati. But I go back to the Wimbledon final. Tell me what you mean. And, and Mary, I was, and we both, you know, we're, we're watching it, and I, I was so taken in the Wimbledon final, given what had happened two when the two had played in Paris. Sets. Several weeks later, Djokovic wins the first set. Now we get early in the second set, and Alcaraz is occasionally smiling between points and looking relaxed. Yes. And Novak is bouncing the ball interminably, daring the shot, daring the serve timer. So we will remind you about our online home, usopen.org. All the point-by-point -point scoring highlights real time and a whole lot more at the official tournament site, usopen.org. But that, that surprised me watching. Can you tell that's David Ferrer? David? <laughs> yes, there you go. And just, I guess where I'm coming from is that you would, I think everybody would have expected all of the tension to be on Alcaraz. Mm. Wimbledon final. Yeah. Been this, this guy's been through a bunch of them. Yet it looked, even when Djokovic had the lead, like he was feeling the stress. Back to your 21 final story here. Yeah. Who have never played. I think Djokovic 15, is coming to understand 15. in a hurry that this guy could really put, lean into some of these shots. I think he might have to make some adjustments because Zapata Mirayas can really lean on the ball, hit it hard. Break chances for Djokovic. Some winners, hasn't he? That's 30, five now. 40. Djokovic with three.
there. Oh, boy. Man. A chance. That would be great. So let's see if Djokovic can get up his serving percentage. He's at 33 right now. Led for service. Fifteen. Oh, that was 123. If you make this man shirts, if you're the good people of Lacoste, do you want to see that it took him a little bit of effort to break <laughs> it apart? Yes. Did you notice that? Yeah, good, good They call. must be saying, I know. That's quality. <laughs> He's ripping it apart, but it's not easy. <laughs> Starting to do know that stuff. So. That's his parents watching on. I just, uh, what strikes me more than anything in watching Djokovic these days is how much length he can find no matter where he is on the court. How, length, you said. Yeah. How much length he yeah. gets on his shots. Even like, pulled wide, pulled around, another ace. Yeah. That one, 124. You know, you think you've hit something pretty good against him. And he still gets it back to you. Mm -hmm. And Ayas has never faced that. This is their first career meeting. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. And the other part, watching him today, to add on to your point, Mayor, is that at 36, Djokovic he's still, Djokovic is still Gumby to me. Yes. That was <laughs> ridiculous flexibility that I've never seen anyone else. I mean, Kim Kleisters was the... WTA equivalent of that, right? Yeah. But in her best years. But this guy still said it's almost the Spider-Man thing where that arm reaches out to get a ball that you don't think he can get. Claims it's the first thing he does every morning, a stretch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's funny because I, I, I've read Novak's book. It's all about his healthy lifestyle, his nutrition. And in the book, he, he says that every morning he starts with a, a tall glass of warm water, and then he does half an hour of stretching. So Ted, Andy Murray heard that, but that's what Novak does first thing in the morning. <laughs> in his deadpan, Murray, he said, the first thing I do is pee. <laughs> you have to love Andy Murray. <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot more people do what Murray does yes. than what Novak does. Just about to hit 30 minutes, and you start to sense a little bit of the attrition coming in. Again, I really think it took Djokovic a couple of games yeah. to get used to the Mirai's ball, you know, to see what the guy's got.
That's Hill. Defense that putt. Yeah. First backhand winner, but that's the uh, the question is how long can you survive succeeding with trying to hit winners against Djokovic? You must feel against this all-time great. Okay, which way do I want to lose? Do, <laughs> yeah. do I want to well, lose hitting shots I don't really own from awkward right, positions, right. or do I want to try to leg it out and live with them? Yeah. Do you play your game, or do you try to play a different game? And either way, the odds are not yes. good. Right. I'm saying that to me, it looks like he's been, he's going for it. Yeah. He early, is. and he hit some. He got hot there the first few games. Yeah. Yeah, Zapata is definitely going viva. But Novak has settled in, hasn't he? Oh. Help us with that. That was fascinating. That's an 84 mile an hour second it's serve kind of center. And Novak just us. returned it pretty routinely right back up the middle. Mm. He didn't try to kill it. Seemingly like he was content to get into a point. Mm. You think he's trying to take out this guy's legs? Nobody ever took out Ferrer's legs. No. <laughs> it's perfect timing for that picture. Yep. Top 10 player for what, about 12 years, got to the French Open final for losing to his buddy Nadal. Advantage, Zapata Miralles. Had a big win over Rafa here. That's right. Did David Ferrer. And Javier Ferrer, older brother, coach of mm -hmm. Mirales. He, he has a, a tennis club in Spain, the Ferrer Tennis Academy. Yes. And such a challenging return. Drew the error. Advantage, Zapata Mirales. 
both these guys are going to find shade in between rallies or in between points. first round match and it it ended up deciding the match yeah. golf had dropped that opening 50 miles. third ace all right Djokovic has discarded the hat now only occasional sun this afternoon It's usually a beautiful stroke of his, but again, sometimes he kind of falls in, you know, every now and then on his serving, on his ground strokes, and then he recovers, but it, it's always a weird thing. Jimmy Arias and I watched that in the third set of his first round match. So where do you see this as watching Djokovic forever? You know, same thing. I've always thought from the box there, but he was brilliant at changing the direction. Mm. Which he tried to do on that backhand and missed. But that's what I thought to me was always a brilliance of his. Oh, yes. Change the direction of a point. Oh, yeah. And I think one of the reasons he can do it so well, Ted, is because he holds the court so well. Mm -hmm. You know? He doesn't find himself wide or deep. So he gets the control and changes the direction. Balance. That's a great word. The, balance. Yeah, this yeah. the balance, the footwork that leads yeah. to that kind of balance. So the pattern of this first set, Djokovic's holds have been Djokovic leads five fair. Games the first game he first scuffled sets. a bit, but fairly easy. So Zapata Marais has worked hard mm. in his service games. Djokovic still serving in the 40s. Yeah. So he's going to look to up that. In the, and, something's bugging him. Mm. And how, well, that's right. And how's he getting away with it? He's won 75% of his second serve yeah. points. Yeah. Fifty miles. Oh.
15 all. Look at his forehand gave him such a good yes. look at his backhand. Yeah, and his reaction told you all there. See, fifteen. Yeah, he's not trying set. to. He's yeah. not trying to make this look easy today, <laughs> is he? No. Let's look at this. Yeah, knew it. He had the point. It's, it's, it just is. He's so light-footed. You know, he's not heavy-legged. He, he comes up with shots. He's almost always smiling. I thought it was interesting the other night that Djokovic got pushed a little bit on the old, kind of a frust or irritant to a lot of people was the impressions he did, which he did here way back when on this court. And I always liked him. I always thought they were yeah. done in a good spirit. Yeah, they were. So the locker room didn't always didn't. feel that way, but right. I think everybody else enjoyed it. And that was uh, that's a lot. It was wonderful. Another <laughs> network and our great friend Michael Barkan was the court mm -hmm. and uh, interviewer, and he was the one that sort of gently prodded Novak, and, and Novak went along. And the yep. crowd, you're right, the they crowd loved it. Know. He admitted himself the other night. The players didn't necessarily agree. Yeah. So it's set points. Djokovic only lost he four points point. on serve in that set. It's just by I love cast that. in her eyes. Me too. Love team. Thank you. 
you know that what Novak Djokovic wants out of this second round more than anything is efficiency. Yeah. And, and yet this guy is just, you know, mm -hmm. hitting some cold winners. a little too much length on that one yeah. Djokovic I think your efficiency but final Sunday no. Fritz looking to have a breakout major, isn't he? Yes. And already won one, which is good, just to erase his last year memory. Loss in the opening round to Brandon Holt, mm -hmm. Tracy's kid. That's a, that's a good little talent there. Crushing it. Last night, Yannick Sinner finished his match, and he threw tennis balls up into this, into Armstrong on this upper deck. And, he, and I said, most Europeans, we get used to seeing what Zapata Malaez just did. They're great with the kick. That's right. <laughs> Sinner was excellent throwing. Forty love. Sinners like Djokovic, he was a skier in his young life. A good one. And Djokovic claims that skiing has helped his balance. It was just a natural thing to do when you're going down those slopes, you know, low center of gravity, mm -hmm. staying, you know, above your legs. Forty fifteen. Sinner needs to meet needs to meet Lindsey Vaughn. There you go. <laughs> oh, I think they have. I oh, think they, I've okay. seen photos Good. of them. Yeah. Great, because Lindsey, a great tennis fan. That's right. She was here opening night. Zapata is just in disbelief, wow. staring at the court. Second hit check with the chair. What a shot this was. And no recourse, of course, in this new iteration of technology with no lines people. You can challenge, but all you're going to do with the challenge is get the confirmation yeah. 
15 more laps. It's interesting. We saw a frustration uh, player last night. Yannick Hoffman got called at least three, if not four, footballs. Venus got called three times for a football. Ah. And that's what it takes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Bernabe is learning to win a point against the great Djokovic. But again, Djokovic looking just a little slow there. Tried to make that volley yeah. from around the middle yeah. of the court. Just to finish that quick point, what, what Hoffman found out last night, after the first football, he asked if he could challenge it. And that does not fall under no. this new video review. And, and there was no one to glare at. Is this a hangover game? Zapata Marais won the great point. Hasn't won one since. Yep. Marais hasn't broken Djokovic yet. Djokovic with a look to do it for the second time. A couple of chances. Wow, there's a... That, I would suggest that's a case study in the the hangover effect. Yeah. <laughs> one point, Djokovic and it gives Djokovic one. the second set lead. I think it's very important. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, the no. score is 30 40. Hold on. Uh -huh. Exactly. Okay. So the scoring. <laughs> Both players are walking to I the know. chair. Like, this game isn't over. Adjustment, yes. All right, so scrub that last comment. Exactly. For the moment. Wow. Deuce. Zappa, Zappa de Marais gets it to Deuce. Ladies and gentlemen, please wait until getting seated, please. Thank you. Please. Please continue. Thank you.
the redirecting the point. Wow. Brilliant from Djokovic. And now I believe, <laughs> and there it is. Okay, break of serve, Novak. And to my mind, because this place emptied out quite a bit while Djokovic was playing his first round match on Monday night, that's when you really see the fans moving around, when it's emptier. Right? Exactly. Exactly. So. Every athlete I've ever talked to about this in any sport will tell you you never hear fans in a full Fancy arena. Night. You only hear fans when it's exactly. partly full. Yeah. That's when a voice stands out. That's true. You watch guys in the NBA trying to sink a foul shot. <laughs> oh, that's exactly. There's so much nonsense going mm -hmm. going on in front of their eyes. <laughs> Forty fifteen. You now this set Djokovic is continuing the trend of the first set. He's not losing very many points on his serve. Oh. Yeah, that's not good for the mind of Zapatan Raias because he had two, two break points in the first game of the match. Nothing close to yep. the look since. USOpen.org again is your app. The US Open app will allow you to follow your favorite players, track the scores, stats, match highlights, player news, all available in the App Store and the Google Play Store. It's how I follow the scores on the train and coming in. Is that right? Oh, yeah, the app. The US Open app's terrific. Uh, really good. And that app will tell you that Taylor Townsend had a nice win yeah. earlier today against the 19th seed Beatrice Haddad Maya mm -hmm. that's wonderful for Townsend who will be you know, a player in the doubles field here as well with partnering with Leila Fernandez I want it in. <laughs> Someone from Marais's box just went, hey. <laughs> and he's down a set. He's down 3 1. He's doing everything he can, and he still has to try to win three sets off of this guy. Yeah. <laughs> hey, he is right. Mm -hmm. Wife and mom. Fifteen forty.
30 40. Third chance here for Djokovic to try to really put a clamp on the second set. Djokovic just giving Zapata Marais just a here's an Ubog point Djokovic for it. Leads four <laughs> and games Djokovic one, still wins it. Set to go, one set to a double break. <laughs> yeah. I can play Clay Court tennis too, is what I, you're saying. Yeah. Okay, so hold on. The first time you ever called a tennis match was here with me. What year was that? How far back do we go? First first match ever was 1986, San Francisco. 86. With you, and it was... Uh, the Cow Palace? Was the, at the Palais de Mou? The Palais de Mou. Wow. Still standing, <laughs> unbelievably. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it was uh, John Patrick McEnroe against James Scott Connors. Oh, I, I, and what did I say to you after that one? Was They're not all like this. <laughs> <laughs> And was I correct? Uh, yes, you were. <laughs> the wide-eyed young guy walked in from other sports and said, hey, this is pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> and Mary looks at me with that perfectly, perfect amount of jadedness and just goes, they're not all like this, kid. <laughs> but there have been some very good ones. Too. Yes, there have. Time. So yeah, we, we go back a long way and you moved on to greener pastures and then the person saddled with me for a year, which she has conveniently, I think, tried to forget. It was Billie Jean King. <laughs> she was my partner for a year here. Really? Yeah. Whatever happened to her? <laughs> So now the battle comes pretty clear. Djokovic to just not lose, not wander. And uh, Zapata Marais trying to find some reason to have some hope. Let for service. Thirty-six. 
30 yards. Is it alarming that Djokovic has tossed in 40, just enough unforced 30. errors in this match? The scoreline doesn't necessarily show it. Doesn't feel as though he's got one more yeah. unforced error, 15, than Zapata Marais, does it? No. Obviously, the biggest difference in this match is that Marias hasn't broken Djokovic. All right, well, just to get to deuce, I don't think we've had a deuce game on Djokovic's serve since the opening of the match. Deuce. Change rackets. This is the last game with these balls. So I wonder if that has something to do with the change. And Should be. Just too good. New yeah. ball space. And again, you, 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 call, you played five one to bad one game seconds. against a man this good, and you've lost a set. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's it. That's it. Now the ball crew. I miss that wonderful sound of the pop top. Yes. <laughs> Here they are. Fresh set of tennis balls. Over the years, we've seen many champions do this to most of their foes, especially early rounds where they just, you just squeeze all the spirit out of them. Mm. I've often wondered, like, if you're in Zapata Marais spot now, you think, I have to come out and play another set? <laughs> when I'm well aware of what I'm facing, and it really made me know that Love you were 13. calling last night. I mean, it was this you know, tough night here last night, but Kupfer admitted, he said, I'm trying not to retire because there's 20,000 people that's right. paying here. That's the right, that was the right mind. You can't hurt yourself, that's not the point. But that was against Carlos Alvarez. Against Carlos, right. But give it, give it your shot. The first game, you're thinking if he retires here, what a disastrous night for spectators. I hope he's not too injured. Yeah. Exactly. You don't want somebody to no. play on when they've hurt an ankle like that. Love 14.
second set, Djokovic. Well, it's six games to Djokovic, walk. which we said about Djokovic three games ago, doing right what he should. Slot. Grab it by the throat, and don't let go. Business as usual for Djokovic. And after that second set, he really seemed to relax. Wait, please. Can Smile we have more. the boards back not moving, please? Yeah, see those those LED boards? They'd like to get them down now. They're still going. Yep, that's right there. That's exactly right, Mary. Yeah, and Zapato Medalis doesn't want to look at those numbers from the second set. No, no. <laughs> but they can't. Players can't can't obviously play with that. There's a backdrop. Early years here at Ash, there would be players that would complain about the giant video boards up top that would show live play. And I've noticed that's, that's right. kind of gone away. Yeah. I'm not complaining about that anymore. I actually liked it when the players were watching the replays. Yeah. Some great yeah. shot they had. Yeah. Different Serbian player, Yelena Jankovic, got to the U.S. Open Championship match against months. Serena many years ago. And she was very entertaining, to say the least. And she actually played one tight set against her in the final. But there was one rally she, that, that she ended up winning. And she like, stopped play to watch it over again. <laughs> she was smiling, and everyone applauded that. Yeah. Not just the point, but the reaction to it. I just assume it's so much a part of life now that all of these younger people have grown up with nothing but screens in front of them and devices, and it's no big deal. Fifteen Small little slide there. Zapata Marais would try anything different on, on second serves. He did win that point, but. And by the way, it gets him his first break chance yeah. since the opening game. And the, the but is Djokovic is winning 71% of his second serves. It's a crazy high number. Yep. Djokovic has broken four times. See if Morales could do it once. Wow. 
Jeez. He went for it. I mean, at this point, he's got to shoot his shot, doesn't he? Yeah. And what are you saving it for? <laughs> oh, I think he missed it. He was still walking oh. into that smash. The one part of his game Advantage that you could point to as something that could crack. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's funny, it was a conversation after the critical point in, uh, in the Wimbledon finals that that's the one thing in his game forever. We know the overhead has been wobbly. Right. One step at a time, and you can see the team trying to keep Zapata Marais focused on just get one step here. It's got to take a lot more steps yes. than one. Oh. <laughs> oh, no, it's a marathon. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Led for service. Fast to serve. Yep. Game Djokovic. So two saved for Djokovic. And he keeps things in First game his preferred defenses. order. For you, which would be more impressive? Well, I think it's way if if Djokovic Can keep his health and play at this level for two to three more years. That's absolutely, impressive. <laughs> absolutely <laughs> more, absolutely more impressive. And, and think, and Roger, what a statement that is. What are we saying? And think, Roger, <laughs> Roger was a point away from winning Wimbledon a month shy of his 38th birthday. So it's it's been done. <laughs> exactly. And having had the incredible honor, which at the time I didn't think it would be the case, but the call the only match ever played between Roger Federer and Pete Sampras. And it's sad it was, it was, it was a fabulous match, sure was. Spe sparkling match, but that's the only time they ever played. It's sad that that was it. And they both serve and volley the, the yeah, entire absolutely. match. Absolutely. You were on that call? Yes. 15. 200 and change serve and volley points played between the two. And Five, it was eight, either 8-6 or 9-7 fifth set. Great. And none of us that day thought this would be the only time they would play. That's right. And, of course, that was the last old Wimbledon. <laughs> they changed the grass the next year. <laughs> R.I.P. serve and volley. <laughs> Forty 
game, Safa Tamirelles. Ted, we've both listened to One our good friend Paul Anika, who coached Pete and Roger Federer. Mm -hmm. So, David Ferrer is doing a little coaching too. Yeah, I like that. So, Paul says that when Federer and Pete used to get together, and Roger obviously was winning all kinds of titles, Pete would still say to him, why don't you serve him volley on grass anymore? <laughs> why would it, why, and and yeah. Roger, Roger would go into, well, the grass has changed. And, and, Pete, said, and Pete would say, so what? <laughs> <laughs> you know that Pete would be up there at the net doing that, know, stuff like that. I mean, he just doesn't get it. So what? Ignore and, this. If you're Roger and, Federer and yeah. you can serve a volley. 15 yeah. And almost everybody around you can't. Yeah. And you're playing on grass, serve them all. And Can you just see a frustrated I, Pete say? I, I know. <laughs> and I'm, I'm thinking, Roger, say, just go walk inside that door up the court again and count the number of times my name is on the wall. <laughs> I mean, yours is up there a lot, too. Yeah, also true. <laughs> but. And the funny thing, you know who I wish had. 15 over. I mentioned this the other night during a match. Is I, Three times I sat there and called the final, and I wish Andy Roddick had done that. Yeah. All those years that Roger just blocked the serve back, and the ball floated in the air for 14 seconds, and I just <laughs> screaming, Andy, come in and smash that thing away, please. Oh. Novak Djokovic's coach, Goran Ivanisevic, who used a wild card to win Wimbledon. That same year yeah. that Pete and Roger played. Goran was, he'll tell you, he, he grew up on clay. He was essentially a baseliner, but he had this huge serve. And then at Wimbledon, he would just use, he'd serve huge and then just do a dumb foul. <laughs> it would just, you know, yeah. and that, and that was, <laughs> that worked really well, you know. <laughs> Djokovic, let's make sure he gets up here. He just thought his drop shot was good enough. Ooh. Don't walk that and off. And great credit to the Spaniard yeah. at the start of this set. He has not gone away. Yeah, and looks like Djokovic surely skinned his elbow. Yeah. Yeah. Very that was quickly drops his racket on the on the fall, Ted. That was a good fall. That I mean, that's somebody who knew how to fall. Exactly right. Yeah. Exactly. Don't 15, jam your hand 15. as you fall down. Tucked his leg underneath too. I mean, that's yeah. that's well done. <laughs> and he look at that. And he acknowledged Zapata Mirales and applauded him for making that point, taking that sh that rally from him. <laughs> well, that's the right play for him. Go for it. <laughs> this is usually when Djokovic doesn't miss his first serves.
the second serve to start off that set, that point, get it back to Deuce. Deuce. 116. <laughs> Djokovic. You can see wow, spot on the line. That point, everyone. <laughs> the effort of both. And yes. Djokovic. And eventually, Djokovic puts his opponent up in the fifth row. Yes. Say, if you're Sabata Marais, you walk back and say, man. Only major he hasn't won is Wimbledon. No. So Stan won three majors. Yep. And a young kid that hasn't won anything is complaining about what court he played on? <laughs> you're speaking somebody of Holgeruna? Somebody needs to shake his shoulders. Yeah, a little bit. And then he went out on court five. Love 13. But when we speak of the magnificence of Carlos Alcaraz, who's already won a couple of majors and is defending this one, in fact, you're thinking he can win like more than 20 majors? He, what who time can, did we live in? Exactly. Who could think that? <laughs> who could possibly I mean, think that? 
He's brilliant, but... Serena, yep. when more than 20 majors? 15, 13. How long and you have to commit yourself and devote yourself and have that kind of ambition to hang around in those ways? And how much of it is that all the ones you mentioned, and he was the trail, this guy here, because Federer and Nadal have broken in before him. Mm -hmm. Nicely done by Zapata Marais. But the three, these three pushed each other, and then comes Murray to push and mm -hmm. Vavrinka to push, and of course v Venus before Serena. And, but you had Lindsay and Kim Kleisters yeah. and Justine Annan and Sharapova, all great champions pushing great careers. each pushing each other. True. How how important uh, is that essential? That, that's what I think. Yeah. That's what I think. But you mentioned all those other players. They didn't come close to winning nope. more than 20 majors. Nope. Today. No. Well, you touched on it earlier about Pete. The first Wimbledon I had the honor to call was Pete's record-breaking title. 13. And we're going, 13, man. No one's 13. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, how? what must Pete think about that? 13 is, like, awesome. <laughs> yeah, he thought that would live a while, didn't he? And the, then they won the U.S. Open. And the field lapped him, right. Yeah. It's just ridiculous, ridiculous leap. I'm certain to think of that number. I know. Labor had yeah. 11. I mean, they, you know. Yeah. yeah he so must have, leads three games to one. He must have thought sense. I could sit back on the yeah. couch and, you know, watch <laughs> TV for a while. And, and, and do you know what else is a lingering memory of that Wimbledon? It was Pete's record-breaking Wimbledon. As you see, a reminder, all of our great social media platforms, including the platform formerly known as Twitter, you can follow the U.S. Open. Stay connected. The hashtag U.S. Open. Join the conversation. Venus Williams won her first Wimbledon that same time. Pete Sampras wins. His parents are sitting up at the top of center of court. That's right. Venus Williams wins. <laughs> I know day, where you're day, going. Day before. <laughs> I mean, I'm out of sequence here, but I'm saying Richard Williams is dancing on top of the box, <laughs> on top of our heads. And Pete Sampras' parents are up at the top, wanted no part of being no. in the limelight. He had to go find them. Fifteen. Oh. Tell Novak is relaxed. About eight, nine ball bounces is it. <laughs> He has to constantly uh, be aware because the ball bouncing does not stop the serve clock. It's not the motion yet. So the tense moments, he can push it.
Yeah. Forty fifteen. And always cool when your opponent acknowledges the good. I like that. Excellent Nov shot. Novak does that a lot. Yes. And he's always the first one to applaud a good yeah. shot. There it is. So Djokovic closing in here. Closing Djokovic in on the four games to one two hour mark and you can see the finish off. line. Thinking that once Martina Navratilova, Ted got really serious about her fitness, about her professional. Fifteen all. She too. She could. She could win major finals in under an hour. I mean, even against someone like Chrissy, I mean, that's how. That, that's how tough she was. That's how quick she was to win majors. Now, again, this is a, uh, a little solace in this for Bernabe Zapata-Morales, but he has actually played well in this third set. Four break points in two different games to break serve, and the scoreline doesn't reflect that. Walk off the court Fair having made $123,000. Gotta love that they're still exhorting him mm -hmm. to fight. Down two sets and 4 1. Yep. He's running out of time here. at the career prize money of this man, just what he's made on the court. <laughs> on the court yeah. do, you, five games to one do you know how much it's, it is? No. $172,281,484. That's on the court. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's ridiculous. Forbes just put out the top 10 earning tennis players past year. One of them is Naomi Osaka, who hasn't played hasn't because of played. her off-court. Yeah, exactly. Fifteen uh, Very quickly, just to follow your point, something tennis has done right and Dumb. should be acknowledged for. What's first round participant make here? 80, 81. 81. 81,000. 81,000 to, 
to get in. And if you drop it, right, just that's entry. The U.S. Open Golf Championships in June. 13. For the first time, a player that missed the cut, that played two days, yeah. with tickets sold, television sold, and missed the cut, the USGA gave them checks for $8,000. The first time ever. Why? It's golfers that missed the cut. In PGA tournaments, don't get anything. Zero. Well, that's low. It's full exactly <laughs> right. It's, it's <laughs> utterly crazy that that's been allowed to sustain. Wow. And it's something tennis does right. So here's the champion ready to close. Game, seven match, Djokovic. And he comes in right six at two six hours. One, six one. And so Djokovic gets under the daylight and goes without trouble.